Chairman Aiello, members of the Fiscal Management Control Board, Secretary Pollack, General Manager Poftak, and members of the MBTA staff, I want to say thank you for conducting this official hearing this morning on the so-called forging ahead proposal uh, to cut public transit service uh, here in the Commonwealth. And I'm here to say no to cuts to public transit service in the middle of a pandemic. I understand the drop off in ridership that has occurred in the wake of the pandemic <clears throat> has brought us to this point. But let's remember that for months, the state has been pushing forward with the reopening. So I don't see how on the one hand, we have the Baker administration determined to get everyone back to work, determined to get people back to school. And on the other hand, we have this announcement today of significant cuts to transit service. I understand that many vehicles and certain routes may be under capacity right now, but again, this is a pandemic and the pandemic has been surging. If the vehicles aren't crowded, then that's probably a good thing. Moreover, we want to move toward a system of free public transportation. So in a sense, the need to maintain current operations with a lot less fare revenue is a perfect opportunity to begin to phase out the concept of transit fares altogether. This gives us a real chance to work toward free public transit. I also want to caution against the use of capital funds for operating expenses, and I understand the legislature has several bills pending um, that would provide that authority, but we've been down this road before. We've seen how that can wreak havoc uh, on our capital investment budgets, and it's something we really need to avoid at all costs. I'd ask that you make no permanent or long-term decisions regarding transit service, especially any potential cuts, before the legislature concludes its current session. Tomorrow, the House takes up the FY21 budget, and for my part, I've filed an amendment to raise $1.7 billion in new progressive revenue by asking our wealthiest households to pay a little more in tax on any unearned income uh, that they gain in a particular year. Uh, also this week, during the House budget process, Representative Hecht, myself, and others have amendments that would deliver money to the MBTA and to our regional transit agencies to help avoid any potential cuts. So I think we need to back up, we need to stop the cuts, we need to focus on advancing affordability for all transit riders, we need to ensure that there are critical capital investments, climate justice and air quality improvements made in the very near term, and we need to work together for a public transit system that is growing, that is free of charge, and that isn't facing cuts during a pandemic. So I thank you so much for considering these comments and look forward to continuing to work with you and all stakeholders on this issue as we move forward. Thank you.